Blessings everyone, and thank you for joining me back on Natural Hair is Key. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install these pre-twisted passion twists, and I will complete a product review at the end. So if you would like to see more, then let's get started. Here we have a vendor's product. They reached out to me to see if I would like to do a product review, and here we are. It comes packaged in this nice durable plastic syllable bag. And there it includes six packs of hair, and there are 22 strands per ring. And it comes with a crochet needle, two hair clips, a mirror, and some hair jewelry. Okay, and here's my non-braid pattern, or should I say my struggle flat twist pattern. I did flat twist all the way back because, you know, I cannot braid. I did combine some braids together so that I could create a visual part with my crochet passion twists. So let's get started on the process. Okay, so here we want to take the crochet needle and insert it under your flat twist. Then you want to attach your passion twist to the hook and close the latch and pull it away from the flat twist. Then you will unhook the twist and widen the opening to insert the rest of the twist. That will create a knot and then you will just push that knot down towards your roots of your hair very gently. And that is pretty much the process that I will be doing over and over again throughout the rest of the video. I believe this took me about an hour and 15 minutes to install. For me, I love shorter styles because then I can get more accomplished that same day. If you guys crochet your own head, how long does it take you? Please let me know down in the comments. said we couldn't get crochet braids or crochet twists because we couldn't braid not here we can achieve the same hairstyle by ourselves for the free crocheting my hair it's time to decorate our strands so I will be using some goat hair jewelry um, just like the ones I showed at the beginning um, but I also bought some of my own and I will also be using some additional gold rings as well I'm such a sucker for half up, half down. That is like my go-to. I don't know if you guys are in love with that type of style, but I am. And I totally love to do it pretty much on every style. But overall, for my review, I would say that I really do like this hair. It's 
light. It's not really heavy at all. Um, I haven't had any tangling with it. Quality is good. Um, these weren't hard at all to get in my hair. I do want to let you guys know that I did run out of hair when I got up to the front. And I had to add in some nomadic twists. Which you can't even tell the difference. But the issue is, what if I didn't have those twists? The front of my head wouldn't have been done. Your girl can't be going out looking like that. But anyway, so my question is to you guys. Do you guys think that I did too many parts with my flat twists when I showed you in the beginning of the video? Because I wanted my hair to be full and I didn't want it to look thin. Or do you truly think that the vendor should give us another pack of hair? So please let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think. And if you think that the vendor should provide an extra pack of hair so that the vendor will know to do so and can add that to their package. But I appreciate each and every one of you watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye.